Hey y'all. Um, okay, so us out in camping, hiking, we've all seen these stoves. You can sometimes get them bigger to use as a campfire, but a lot of us have these small little backpacking stoves designed to make it easy um, to go backpacking as you can just find material to burn in it. Well, the other day I found something out really cool. You can actually use wood pellets in them. So in this video, I'm actually going to go ahead and test that out and see how it works. I hope you join along as I do that. Alright, so the idea is simple. You drop in two cups of your favorite wood pellets. In this case, I just use basic mesquite, cheapest brand, the cheapest ones I could find in a grocery store. And then from there, it's just a matter of lighting this thing on fire. Of course, that's always easier said than done, right? Um, we tried it with a lighter first, but I was having a hard time getting it to start. Um, what you're looking at here is just a basic Vaseline-soaked cotton ball. And I have it on top, and I use one of the storm matches to go ahead and get that thing set on fire. The first time, you'll see it actually ends up failing, and it just blows out. Um, if you're wondering why I didn't put it into the bottom of it and started to fire that way, I was afraid that if I dumped the wood pellets on, I would just knock the whole thing out. Um, so I just put everything on top. Um, figuring it would just burn down from the top down, giving me a good fire. Um, you will see it goes out here in a minute, and I do learn some lessons there. Um, one, dig yourself a little bit of a cave and drop this into it and lay some of them on top. Once you have to wood pellets kind of on top of the fire, they start catching fire and it will start smoldering down and burning down. Remember, these stoves aren't actually designed to give off to most of the heat by the burning of the wood itself. It's the gases that generate and come through the holes and at the top around the rim that generate the gas that actually creates most of the heat and makes these smokeless fires. Um, so you, you do want to kind of have a good smolder going as it goes down to generate the gas that comes up and creates that massive amount of heat. So yeah, here you can tell I, I went ahead and moved some stuff around, dropped the cotton ball back in, laid some of them on, laid some of those pellets on top, and then started to fire back up, and from there it was not a problem at all. I'll go ahead and speed this up just a little bit so we can get to the part of the flame. Now, this is sped up about 10 times, so you can tell that it does take quite a while for it to actually start building a good fire inside of it. Um, but you'll see here in a minute that once it does, it's, it's pretty awesome. Now, we did want to go ahead and see if we can get water to boil with this and how long it would really take. So I did go ahead and pour off two cups of water and put it on the stove. Um, probably a little too soon just because the flame and the fire underneath it is actually still building. Um, but I figured in a situation I'm probably not going to wait to put the pot on top. It's just going to kind of almost preheat, I guess, um, as the, the gas starts building. Now, after about another five minutes or so, um, I was able to see, looking underneath, that now we actually have those gases. You can see how they're starting to see gases coming out through those holes at the top, the ones that almost look like vent holes. Yeah, this is kind of what it's supposed to be like. Um, and this is when it started really heating up the water fairly quickly, too. So I went ahead and I sped it up one more time, um, to about ten times the uh, speed of record the original recording. Um, just to kind of give you a view of um, how long it takes for it to boil. I can tell you right now, once the gases start, um, the water was probably already in the 80 or so, just because of the small flame below. Um, but it only took another uh, six minutes or so, based on the length of the original recording, for the uh, water to start boiling. And it, it went to a full rolling boil. So we are talking start to finish about 10 to 15 minutes go ahead and get good two cups of boiling water so that's a good thing and i'm glad that this worked all right guys so what we just saw was a really cool solution now who's this for um let's 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 be real we don't want to carry around bags of pellets just so we can go ahead and use the stove so it's not going to be for backpacking it's not going to be for your just your basic camping. This is going to be useful for not even car camping because you're going to have a good stove there. 
this is going to be useful as an emergency purpose at home. This is going to be useful for if you already have wood pellet stoves or wood pellet um, grills for you to go ahead and have this available to boil up water quickly in an emergency at home. To go ahead and quickly boil up with some chili or cook up some chili. To quickly cook up some of those canned foods that you have sitting in your match emergency rations. That That's it. Um, I would have loved to have had this back in that winter Armageddon that we had in 2020. Um, but no, this is not going to be useful to bring on a camping trip. But it's good to have at home for emergency purposes and good to know that it can do that. So uh, yeah, so this is Mike. I'm with Right Amount of Campy. I appreciate you watching until the very end. If you saw any value in this, please go ahead and subscribe. And go ahead and hit that notification bell for me. And I'll uh, see you next video.